I just got back from a vacation and the first thing I noticed is my body getting much more tanned than my face. Probably because I remember to put face sunscreen but I forget about the body. So, I put together 5 natural remedies that will take care of the tanning all over your body and on the face as well. I saw this really interesting remedy going viral on Instagram a few days ago. Basically, you have to make an atta ball and that's going to help you reduce your tan. So, you put together turmeric, besan, water, honey and you knead this until you get a dough ball like this and then you can use this like rolling it on your body and on your face to lift off some of the dead skin and tan. So I would actually recommend not to use the same ball for your body and face. So maybe get two different atta balls. Basically how this works is all three ingredients work together to exfoliate, to hydrate your skin while exfoliating and to brighten. So this really helps with lifting off the tan overall. Some people have even seen it taking off hair, especially facial hair, but I haven't seen that for myself yet because I generally tend to just razor it off. Chemical peels are a really strong way to exfoliate your skin and usually these are done by dermats and at the end of this treatment, you are left with tan-free glowing skin but also you're not left with a lot of money because they're a bit expensive. So I thought why don't we try to make this at home? If you put together honey, potato juice, hibiscus powder and coffee, you will get a very exfoliating mixture that actually can mimic the effects of a dermatological peeling treatment. Basically, you mix all of these together and then you apply it on your face, on your hands, on your feet or wherever else you're seeing the tan and leave this on for 15 minutes, then wash it off. Basically, out of all four of these, there's one ingredient that's really pushing it and being the total chemical peel replacement. So pause right now and tell me which one do you think it is in the comments below. Unpause, it's actually hibiscus powder. I know this ingredient is not known as this uh, tan remover, but it is the most powerful in terms of lightening and brightening the excess melanin in your skin. So if you got that right, I'm going to give you an emoji shower in the comments below. Let's talk about the tanned skin on your hands or on your feet. Basically, I saw this one influencer doing a foot peeling mask and at the end of it, her feet were peeling and shedding like a snake. If you want to try out a less severe version of this at home, then try this remedy. Mix together ground rice flour, then ground dried lemon and orange peels and finally add some honey to this. This mixture will be a really great uh, mix of brightening as well as moisturizing ingredients. You can apply this on your hands and put on a plastic glove. This will help keep all that mixture inside and let it work its magic while it's covered, protected. Then you can also wear a woolen or a normal cotton glove just to protect all of this that's happening inside. I would say not to leave this on overnight. You can start off with leaving it on for a couple of hours and see how your skin reacts and how you feel. And then when you remove this, you're literally going to see brighter and softer skin. If you want to do this for your feet, then you can use plastic wraps and cover with gloves. I mean, socks. Here's what the before and after looked like for me. And I was really happy with the results. So you can also try this at home and let me know in the comments how it works out. I really like using haldi for tan removal and brightening, but I don't like how it just leaves everything looking yellow. So I found a way to remove the yellowness of it by roasting haldi. If you roast it on a pan until it turns brown, not only does it take out that yellow factor of it, it also makes it much easier to absorb into your skin. You can mix this with dahi and coffee and apply it on the thicker parts of your body by scrubbing it. I wouldn't really recommend applying this on your face because you have to scrub it a little and it might be a bit too harsh for your face skin. But trust me, this will do wonders for your body. I had stopped wearing open-toed flats or heels because I had started getting very conscious about how my toes were looking darker than the rest of my foot because of tanning. Then I found this really insane and powerful remedy that you need a disclaimer for before I tell you about it. Do not apply this anywhere other than your toes, elbows or knees. This is only okay for the thick parts of your body and not your face. Basically, what you need to do is cut up half a lemon and on top of this, put some honey and some coffee on this. Now you can use this to scrub your toes or your elbows or knees wherever you're applying this. Only do this for two to three minutes because this is going to be a little too powerful if you do it for too long. 
after this you can follow it up with applying it a cold uh, aloe gel on this and this will really soothe your skin after that intense scrubbing this is going to give you a really brightening and smoothing effect so use it at your own risk and by that i mean don't use it too often let me know in the comments below which of these was your favorite recipe i personally really like the atta balls because it looks so cool and i've never done anything like that before also tell me what skin problem of yours would you like us to tackle next thanks for watching and until next time stay tuned and stay glamorous the makeup look details for today are a little bit different because it's mostly my skincare details after shooting the entire morning i had to reapply my makeup so i took it off with a really soothing cleansing balm by nyb this is 10 times better than using a makeup wipe or a cotton pad because this does not make my skin red whereas everything else always does then i followed this up with a hyaluronic acid serum i used the l'oreal revitalift one this is super light and it actually leaves my skin feeling little sticky which i really like because it helps me layer my products better then i ended it all with the pond super light gel moisturizer this is really good for all skin types and i feel like even though my skin isn't on the oily side which this is like recommended for it still did a really great job of moisturizing my skin and then i just followed it up with my general makeup products like the bobby brown concealer which i always use